Okay, so good morning everyone. Today uh, we are discussing about uh, services marketing, second unit of services management. So here uh, uh, it's almost like a, a phenomena what we understood in the first chapter. Services. It is uh, one of the uh, intangible aspect offered by one person to another person and uh, does not result into the ownership of anything. So that intangible aspect and does not result into the ownership of anything, these two points were uh, made our mindset very clearly that uh, wherever we will get into it, about a pure product, about pure services, or it's partially product and service are getting involved proportionately. Very much clear that uh, service is there or getting involved in the level of satisfaction of human being. That is the main point, main content, what we have covered in the first chapter. And into the uh, second unit, services marketing. We are going to discuss about uh, uh, the marketing mix and uh, completely the major thing every one of us need to understand is about uh, the level of understanding of our efforts, what we are going to put as a services providers, maybe uh, engineer, doctor, lawyer, analyst, future managers, teachers, correct? So, we are all services providers. Very much clearly we need to understand that uh, our services outcome should be the desired outcome of ours and it should be the expected outcome of our clients. Then only services marketing can be able to reach its rank number one position. So uh, how exactly we can able to analyze all these things? Is there any a particular definition for that? Yes, sir. Services marketing is all about uh, the uh, level of understanding the satisfaction of our customers. How good we are into the sales. How best they are receiving our products and services. That is very, very important. And when we are going to uh, start looking forward, into the services marketing. Not audible. So when we are getting into uh, the services, pre-sale and uh, post-sale services, both are going to be the matter in terms of uh, getting So now I'm audible to everyone. Okay. Yes, sir. So now, uh, where are you getting associate? in terms of understanding the uh, definitions part. Everywhere, when we are going to uh, sell it off a product that can be considered as like an object, that can be one of the physical thing. But alternatively, we need one of the effort in terms of convincing our customers, in terms of uh, making availability of the products, all the efforts 
get associate in the name of services market. Yes, so probably a producer is going to produce this product whereas uh, from the distribution channel to till the end of reaching to the final consumer, all the efforts can be considered as like uh, services. So what it happens in case of uh, a, a pure product, whether it is going to have its own services. Hundred percent sure. Even pure product also is going to have its own services through the marketing skills, the efforts put by the distribution channel in terms of serving the products to its customers. Correct? They need to deliver the products. So hundred percent sure services are involved and the performance efforts everything can be considered as a service that's the main point of understanding the meaning of uh, services marketing right so um, probably we're going to discuss the differences between the goods and services in the next session Thanks to everyone.